Welcome to Horror Square. Our channel is dedicated to sharing spine-chilling and terrifying stories. All the stories presented on Horror Square are works of fiction. They are created for entertainment purposes only and should not be interpreted as real-life events or experiences. Horror Square may explore psychological themes that can evoke fear, anxiety, or discomfort. If you are sensitive to such contents, we recommend avoiding our channel or proceeding with caution to fully enjoy our contents. We encourage suspending disbelief and embracing the atmosphere of horror. Remember that the events and characters depicted are purely fictional and not intended to represent reality. We hope you enjoy our contents responsibly and in the spirit of immersive storytelling. Hello, dear friends. Welcome to Horror Square. I hope you are fine. Today's story is, Miraculous Night, from Jackson Brooker's series. In the, mystical realm, Jackson Brooker is renowned for his prowess against malevolent spirits. Created by Curved Moon, he is a 34-year-old enigmatic figure celebrated for his unmatched power in dealing with the supernatural. Answering pleas for help, he arrives in villages under the cloak of night, a beacon of hope against the darkness. Despite his fame, Jackson remains humble, focusing solely on his duty to protect the innocent from malevolent forces. As we delve into his mystical adventures, Curved Moon's creation mesmerizes with an enchanting tale that blurs the lines between reality and magic, showcasing the courage of a hero destined for legendary greatness. So, let's get started. In the heart of a serene winter evening, the world was draped in a shimmering shroud of snow, each delicate flake drifting from the heavens like ethereal dancers. The air was crisp, carrying with it the anticipation of a story waiting to unfold. Against this backdrop of enchantment, Jackson's friends, Richard and William, stood before his door, their excitement palpable in the chilly air. Eager smiles warmed their faces as they exchanged glances, sharing their unspoken anticipation for the evening ahead. Their presence alone seemed to coax the snowfall into a more intricate ballet, the flakes descending with a graceful gentleness. As they waited, the soft padding of snowflakes on their coats played a quiet, harmonious rhythm, creating an orchestra of winter's whispers. The scene, before them, was nothing short of magical, a painting, brought to life, by the delicate hand of nature. Then, with a creak and a rustle, the door opened, revealing Jackson's beaming countenance. His eyes held a sparkle, mirroring the frosty brilliance, beyond the threshold. The camaraderie and warmth, he exuded, were as inviting, as a hearth on a cold night. Welcome, my friends. He greeted, his words, weaving a sense of belonging that matched the tapestry of the evening. As Richard and William stepped over the threshold, a gust of wintry air followed them, and with it, the snowfall seemed to intensify, caught in a mesmerizing swirl around them. The flakes danced in a joyful frenzy, as if the atmosphere itself was celebrating their arrival. Their composed demeanor, as they stood amidst this flurry, was a testament to their familiarity with Jackson's extraordinary capabilities. The snowfall, far from being an anomaly, was a canvas on which Jackson's unique connection to the elements was painted. With a hearty chuckle, Jackson noted their lack of astonishment with a teasing glint in his eyes. Not even a hint of surprise? He jested, his voice carrying a note of playful disbelief. Richard's responding, grin held a touch of mischief, his words, as light-hearted as the snowflakes, around them. Oh, Jackson, you know we've long been acquainted with your otherworldly talents. He quipped, his tone conspiratorial, as if they shared a delightful secret. This banter, laced with camaraderie, eased the moment, enveloping them in a comfortable familiarity, that needed no extravagant explanations. The winter's tale was already unfolding, one layer at a time. Inside, the atmosphere was warm and inviting, much like the friendship that bound them. Jackson's deft hands navigated the art of brewing coffee, the comforting aroma mingling seamlessly with the crisp winter breeze that ventured in through open windows. 
each scent and sensation harmonized, creating an experience that was as much about the senses as it was about the heart. The room became a cocoon of coziness as they settled in, their laughter weaving through the air, like the laughter of old friends reuniting, around the hearth. Amidst this congenial ambience, curiosity kindled in William's eyes, giving voice to the unspoken questions that had lingered since the snowfall began. How is it possible, Jackson? He ventured, his voice carrying the curiosity of a child, uncovering a hidden treasure. How can you manipulate the snowfall? Jackson's enigmatic smile graced his lips and his eyes seemed to hold the very secrets of the winter night. Well, my friends. He began, his tone carrying a touch of intrigue. To understand, we must journey back to where this tale truly began. With those words, the room seemed to hold its breath, captivated by the promise of a story that would reveal the mysteries, hidden within the snowflakes and the bonds that transcended the ordinary. Leaning back into the plush cushions that embraced them, the room seemed to settle into a tranquil hush, a cocoon, where time itself held its breath. The glow of dimmed lights and the occasional flicker of candle flames cast an ambience that matched the intimate nature of the tale, about to be woven. The air carried with it a sense of anticipation, a silent invitation to embark on a journey through the corridors of memory. As Jackson's voice began to unfurl, it was as if the very room leaned in, eager to absorb every syllable of the story that had shaped his life. He painted a vivid canvas with his words, transporting his friends to a stormy, rain-soaked night that echoed with the symphony of thunder and the relentless patter of raindrops. The setting was almost palpable, a darkened sky, a distant rumble of thunder, and the chill of wetness clinging to every surface. He ventured into the story. It was during that stormy, rain-soaked night that I met Mr. Clive in the burial ground for the first time. When the very sky seemed to weep, destiny chose me to be a part of a tale that would forever weave the threads of my life with enchantment. As the heavens showered the earth with their tears, I found myself stepping onto the stage of a story that would transform the ordinary into the extraordinary, a night where a chance encounter would change everything. It was in the midst of this tempest that I stumbled upon a scene that would forever etch itself into my memory, a trapped owl named Ulaxana. Its normally majestic feathers were drenched and matted against its body, as if the weight of the rain mirrored the heaviness of its predicament. Its eyes, a mixture of fear and hope, met mine with a haunting vulnerability. It was a silent plea that echoed through the storm, a plea that stirred a resonance deep within me. Guided by a force I couldn't quite explain, an empathy that reached beyond mere understanding, I rushed to free the creature from its entangled plight. Raindrops mingled with my own sweat as I navigated the labyrinth of netting that held Ulaxana captive. Each second seemed to stretch into an eternity, my heart drumming in sync with the rhythm of the rain. The rain poured down around us, a torrential symphony that conducted its own tempestuous ballet. Thunder echoed in the background, adding primal percussion to the night's chorus. The tension in the air was palpable, the very atmosphere was charged with an electricity that resonated with the urgency of the moment. With a determination that felt almost otherworldly, I focused every fiber of my being on the task at hand, on setting Ulaxana free. As my fingers wrestled with the stubborn netting, the owl's struggles seemed to mirror the elements themselves. It fought against its constraints, its wings flapping with a strength that defied its delicate appearance. The struggle felt like a dance, a ballet of life and liberation unfolding amidst the tumultuous backdrop of the storm. The owl's eyes, a mosaic of emotions, reflected a mixture of gratitude and an understanding 
that surpassed words. And then, as if in a crescendo, of the night symphony, the neck gave way. It was as if the universe, itself exhaled, releasing Ulaxana, from its captive embrace. In that fleeting instant, as the owl took its first, hesitant flight, the world, around us, seemed to hold its breath. Raindrops, lingered suspended in the air, the symphony of the storm, pausing for a moment, as if in awe of the freedom, that had been granted. With the grace of a creature, that had tasted the ecstasy of liberation, Ulaxana, soared into the night. Its wings, carried it away from the entrapment, that had threatened its existence, every beat, a testament to the power of empathy, and the resilience of life. For that moment, it was just me, the owl, and the storm, a collision of worlds and emotions, that defied the boundaries of the ordinary. In the days, that followed, that pivotal night, the boundaries between reality and dreams, began to blur, and a new chapter of wonder, was etched into my existence. At first, my slumbers were haunted by, fragmented scenes, a puzzle of unrelated images, and emotions. These dreams were, like scattered pieces of a mosaic, waiting to be assembled, a mosaic, that would eventually reveal, an awe-inspiring narrative. As the nights, melted into one another, these disparate scenes, began to weave themselves together, like threads in an intricate tapestry. The dreamscapes, took on a life of their own, forming a coherent storyline, that seemed to echo with the resonance, of something profound. Each dream, was like a brushstroke on a canvas, a stroke, that painted a portrait of Angelina's actions, a portrait, that unveiled her ethereal touch, on my very subconscious. It was, as if Angelina's presence was, imprinted in every corner of those dreams, her essence, woven into the fabric of my nocturnal experiences. Her touch, was delicate yet undeniable, like the fragrance of flowers, carried by a gentle breeze. Through the veil of dreams, I began to perceive the symphony, of her actions, the flutter of wings, the rustle of leaves, and the soft whispers of secrets only the night wind could carry. In these visions, I began to realize that, Angelina, the ethereal mistress of Ulaxana, was communicating with me. Her messages, were hidden within the imagery of the dreams, conveyed through the language, of symbolism and emotion. Through these dreams, I felt her, and a connection, that defied the boundaries of time and space. Through these dreams, I could understand her actions, her intentions, and the, very essence of her being. It was as if our souls, danced through the realm of dreams, exchanging secrets and stories, that transcended spoken language. I could feel her longing, her desires, and the echoes of the stormy night, that had brought us together. As these dreams, became a cherished part of my nightly ritual, I found myself, drawn deeper, into the intricate web of fate, that had woven our lives together. It was a silent conversation, a communion of souls, that took place, beyond the confines of the waking world. It was a realization, that our fates, once separate and distinct, had converged, through that stormy night, intertwining in a dance, that spanned realms. As the hands of time, continued their unrelenting march, Goddess Angelina's presence in my life, became more pronounced. Through the vessel, of her owl, messages flowed, like whispers carried by the wind. These messages, were woven into the very fabric of the night air, carrying with them, a weight and significance, that transcended the realm of the ordinary. The moon, itself seemed to become our confidant, casting its silvery glow, on our conversations. The cool and comforting night air, seemed to carry our words on its currents, a testament to the magic, that dwelled within the spaces, between dusk and dawn. The ordinary world, faded into the background, as we conversed in this realm, that existed beyond the physical, a realm, where the mundane and the mystical converged, in a harmonious duet. And so, in the quiet, embrace of the night air, under the canopy of stars, that held their own secrets, Goddess Angelina's presence, 
was a beacon. Her owl messenger, a loyal companion, carried her messages through the gentle currents that traversed the night. It was a connection that needed no physical touch, no visible form, it was a connection that resonated on a plane of existence where the heart and the soul held sway. Then, as if the very universe conspired to gift me another chapter of enchantment, there came a night when Goddess Angelina's presence graced my senses in a way I had never imagined possible. Under the tender embrace of moonlight, as stars adorned the velvet canvas of the sky, she emerged, a figure of pure luminescence, a being who seemed to be woven from the very fabric of nature itself. In her presence, time seemed to halt the symphony of the night, falling silent in reverence for her ethereal beauty. It was as though the world held its breath like an orchestra pausing between movements. My heart, usually in a steady rhythm, skipped a beat as I beheld her. The intensity of the moment swept me away, leaving me momentarily breathless. Her luminous form was a masterpiece of light and shadow, an embodiment of grace that transcended the boundaries of mere mortals. Every contour of her being seemed to radiate with a divine glow, and her very presence carried an energy that was simultaneously calming and electrifying. Summoning the wellspring of courage from deep within me, I found my voice in the midst of awe. The question that had been a constant companion in my thoughts slipped from my lips, its gravity, underscored by the weight of curiosity and reverence. Why have you summoned me, Goddess Angelina? She told me. You can call me Angelina, no need to add anything before. Her response was like a symphony of elements, a harmonious blend of wind, water, and earth. Her voice flowed around me, a caress of sound that seemed to resonate with the very essence of nature. In her words, I felt the gentle currents of the wind, the soothing rhythm of waves, and the steadfastness of the earth beneath my feet. She shared her perspective and her admiration for the kindness that had led me to Alaxana's rescue. It was an admiration that transcended the surface, a recognition of the compassion that connected us across realms. With each word, the tapestry of our connection grew richer, the threads of fate woven with the intricacy of a spider's web. She spoke of the threads that had intertwined our lives, threads that were as delicate as they were profound. She revealed that her essence was intricately woven into the balance of the world, a guardian entrusted with the harmonious dance of nature's elements. Her existence was a symphony, a choreography of life's delicate rhythms. And then, like a curtain, unveiling a secret stage, she revealed, the heart of the matter, a gift as profound as it was unexpected. In recognition of my kindness, and the unique bond that had blossomed between us, Angelina bestowed upon me a power that resonated with her essence, a power that could manipulate. Some actions of nature, like snowfall. The weight of her words settled into the very core of my being, a realization that the ordinary world and the realm of the extraordinary had converged in a way I had never dared to dream. As the nights turned into days and then into nights again, our meetings continued. Moonlit nights, by the tranquil riverbank, named Silver Bank, became our sacred stage, a backdrop for our conversations, that flowed as naturally as the water before us. Each word exchanged carried the weight of a newfound connection, a connection that was equal parts mystique and familiarity. Angelina became my muse, an enigma that I found myself drawn to with an intensity I had never experienced before. Her presence ignited a fire within me, a fire that burned with a hunger for understanding, for connection, and for a love that transcended the confines of reality. With each encounter, the layers of the ordinary were peeled away, revealing the intricate beauty that lay beneath, an otherworldly connection that bound us, heart and soul, in a dance 
that span time and space. As the last words of Jackson's narrative lingered in the air, the room seemed to hold its collective breath, as if time itself had suspended, allowing the weight of the story to settle in every corner. The room's atmosphere was charged with an energy that transcended mere words, a palpable connection forged through shared stories and woven destinies. Their gazes, drawn like magnets to Jackson's eyes, reflected the array of emotions swirling within each of them. In the quiet aftermath of his tale, the crackling of the fireplace was the only sound that dared break the silence, the flicker of flames, casting shifting shadows on the walls. The expressions on Richard and William's faces spoke volumes, a mixture of wonderment and awe, a reflection of the enchantment they had been swept into by the currents of Jackson's words. A soft smile tugged at the corners of Jackson's lips, his eyes dancing with the knowledge of the secrets he held and the privilege of sharing them with friends who had become family. With a gentleness that matched the ambience of the evening, he chose to unveil a secret that had been hidden in plain sight. You see, he began, his voice a quiet revelation. As you arrived at my doorstep this evening, I held back the snowfall. The confession seemed to shimmer like a fragile crystal unveiled in the moonlight. The snowfall that had embraced Richard and William, enveloping them in its ethereal dance, was Jackson's doing, a testament to the bond that linked him to the very essence of the elements. The room seemed to hum, with the resonance of this revelation, a bridge, connecting the ordinary to the extraordinary. The power Angelina had bestowed upon Jackson had become a part of him, an intricate thread woven into the very fabric of his being. In his words, there was a sense of intimacy, a gentle unveiling of a secret connection that spanned beyond the ordinary boundaries of reality. The moment held a delicate equilibrium between the mundane and the miraculous, a testament to the intricate dance of the universe's secrets. And so, as if guided by a shared understanding that needed no spoken words, the three friends embraced the fullness of that miraculous night. It was a night that had opened their eyes to the reality that lay beyond the veil of everyday existence, a night where friendship blossomed into a kinship with the extraordinary. Where the boundaries of the known dissolved into the enchantment of the unknown. In the warm embrace of the room's soft glow, the friendship that had carried them through seasons and storms stood as a beacon of light. The hearth flickered, casting a warm glow on their faces as they relished the magic that defied explanation, a magic born from a chance encounter with a trapped owl, an act of compassion that had unfurled into a journey through realms of wonder and connection. And there, under the canvas of the moonlit sky, the miraculous night etched itself into their memories, a night that celebrated the intricate beauty of the world. Where friendship and romance danced harmoniously, and where the ordinary melded seamlessly with the extraordinary. In the end, it was not just a story, it was an experience, a tapestry of moments that would forever be woven into their hearts. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to let us know how you liked today's story in the comments, and if you enjoyed the story, give it a like and share it to let others know. Also, consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the bell icon next to it and enabling notifications, so you don't miss any updates. In order to inform dear listener friends, if any one of you wants to share your story or any spiritual experience, then you can send it through mail. Our mail ID is horrorsquare555 at the rate gmail.com. But for now, it's time to say goodbye, but I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you take care, Tata.